p.m. Eastern. Joining me now, Congresswoman Karen Bass, Democrat from California. She serves on the House Committee on Foreign Affairs, Subcommittee on Global Health. Before becoming an elected official, she worked as a phys physician assistant. And Congresswoman Bass, I, I feel like the, the bargain here is this. CDC, the government says, don't panic about this. I think the American people aren't generally panicking. I think people understand that this is a genuine, terrifying crisis in West Africa where it's killed thousands of people. It is not in the U.S. We have an incredible health infrastructure. At the same time, part of that bargain is a display of competence and trustworthiness on behalf of the people saying, don't worry, we got this. And as a member of Congress, are you satisfied that they have displayed sufficient competence, whether it's the private hospital in Texas or it's the, it's the, the CDC? Well, in general, I think they have, but there's certainly clearly been mistakes. And the mistakes that were made at the hospital in Texas uh, clearly have led to what we see with the two nurses. And I'm concerned that there are going to be more. I do think that there's going to be additional cases, but I don't think that we will be facing an outbreak because of our strong health system in general. But clearly, there were mistakes that were made on both parts, CDC and a lot of mistakes on the part of the hospital in Texas. There's also the there's also the question here of, of, of whether there is su sufficient preparation across the nation's 5,700 plus hospitals, given the fact that the, the outbreak still continues uh, to, to expand in West Africa. We live in a time of, of global uh, travel, and it seems inevitable, just right. in terms of the numbers, some other patient from West Africa is going to walk into some emergency room somewhere else in this country at a certain point. Right. I mean, I think that's absolutely right. Or somebody who's come in contact w with someone from the region, maybe not even from West Africa. But you know what I am certain is, ha is happening in our hospitals around the country, and that is uh, immediate in-service where people are learning. What, from what I read about what happened in Texas, they seemed as though they went about the infectious disease control protocols in a normal manner as opposed to being hyper vigilant and right. taking special care with Ebola. But I am certainly hoping that the CDC is on video throughout the country and hospitals showing very specific procedures that are different than the normal uh, ways we handle infectious diseases in hospitals. Congresswoman Karen Bass, always a pleasure. Thank you.